So we are a campus organization. Um, we are a very kind of special club that really supports reptile and amphibian conservation, education, rehabilitation. So we on campus, we have a lot of reptiles and amphibians that we have, that have been rehomed for us. Um, we are kind of a national rehab center. Um, we accept animals from all over the country. When people can't take care of them at all anymore, they give them to us. People in their free time come and help work with the animals and feed them and clean them and help um, you know, take care of them. We have two education coordinators who go around um, the city and the state um, of Wisconsin and just educate people on reptiles and amphibians. And we use a lot of our animals for education purposes. We go to different schools and you know educate little um, fifth graders and you know other grades about animals um, in general and in the environment. I joined the Herpetology Society because when we had Quasi the Big Green Iguana, I was a freshman and I remember I saw him in the vivarium and I looked at him and I went, how do I pet him? And so that's actually why I joined because I wanted to work with him. And since then I've been able to work with all of our amazing animals we have here. I really like working with the animals, but working with the volunteers is actually really cool because it's really neat when you see all of them be so excited over like meeting an animal for the first time or like feeding an animal for the first time, so that's really cool. But the animals are definitely the best part of it. They're the stars because they all have their own little personalities. A lot of people don't really think of like reptiles and amphibians having like personalities, but they all do. They all have their own like dislikes and they all have their own preferences. Like some of our turtles like grapes, other ones hate grapes. They all have their own little personalities. So getting to know them and interacting with them is the best part for me. One of the things that they show you on the tour is the vivarium downstairs, and I saw all those creatures and I was like, I want to, I want to figure out how to become a part of that. So I've been doing herpetology society since my freshman year, and now I'm the manager. Lots of people consider them to be kind of like in the same category as like spiders or other kinds of bugs where they're like these creepy crawlies that they would hurt you or things that go bump in the night. People are scared of them for not really grounded reasoning because some people think like, oh, it's going to eat me, but logically a snake cannot eat you. But I think it's just because they're considered like creepy crawlies and that intimidates people. If you scare a snake, they're most likely going to retaliate or if you're grabbing them roughly, they're not going to enjoy that. Same as like, you wouldn't like getting roughly grabbed by a stranger, like you're going to freak out. So it's like most of the, the creepy crawly things they do are in defense and people need to understand that it's like you have to know what you're doing to not startle whatever animal you're working with. Dragon is a corn snake and they get that name because the bottom part of their belly looks like little pieces of corn. I like him a lot because he's very colorful and vibrant and he's always very friendly. I just love him a lot. He's very cute as well. There isn't a lot of knowledge out there about taking care of reptiles and amphibians, um, especially what their needs are um, regarding like temperature. Uh, Mango, our red-footed tortoise, um, she's a lovely little animal. She actually was brought to us. She has these giant pyramiding bumps on her shell, and you'll notice that those are not really normal. Um, they have a little bit of a bump pattern on there, but not as defined as hers is, and that's because of poor nutrition and poor lighting. She was not given an area with good temperatures or any kind of reasonable food. So her shell kind of bubbled up like that. But she's come to us, we give her proper light, we give her proper vitamins and food and things like that, and she's doing really well. Um, the bumps on her shell will never fully recover and heal, but she is able to live an essentially normal life as a tortoise. So downstairs we have Charlie, the blue tongue skink. We got him from a very sad situation, animal hoarding. 
He was not kept in the proper environment that is required from his species. He was kept in a wire dog crate, and because of this, he's missing many of his toes. He was not given the proper light requirements either, so that has also affected his body condition. Now that we have him in his proper care, he's lived a very full life. She came to us unbelievably emaciated, very thin, um, and she had a severe eye infection in both of her eyes, and both of her eyes were actually shut when we first got her, and there would be like pus opening out of them, and she physically couldn't open them, and she was so emaciated, and we didn't have very high hopes that she would make it. When we first got her, we had to feed her from a syringe. She couldn't eat on her own. We, we didn't um, expect her to live super long. When we used to have to syringe feed her, it was always very sad, and the first time she ever like ate a bug on her own, we both like teared up a little bit after seeing her eat for the first time time but she is making a full recovery she can open both of her eyes now um, she had to have a surgery because she actually had a mass in her face but that's removed she had to get medication for a while but she's making a very good recovery and she's never gonna be hundred percent healthy due to um, the fact she wasn't cared for she does have some like deformities she has metabolic bone disease she's never gonna be a hundred percent but she's at a very like healthy weight now and she's um, living a good life she can open her eyes she can actually see a little bit we thought she was gonna be blind but she can actually see movement um, but we're both, we're all very proud of her. <laughs> this video has been brought to you by SPTV.